Hey guys, you probably know this, but if you're going to aim for any particular goal, whether it's weight loss or fitness or competition or other goals in life, you need to be precise about your destination and how you get there. This morning I was on a call with a client and I was reminded of this analogy. When I was 37, before I started this fitness journey at 38, at 37 I got really excited and I wanted to get my private pilot's license. Yes, I wanted to be able to fly planes. So like anything else, I jumped in head first and I joined an aviation school and I had an instructor. And basically the way you get your private pilot's license is you have some school and some flight time, you build up a bit of experience and then you do a check ride. And this is where a lead instructor flies with you and determines if you can fly solo. And through the process of getting your pilot's license, you do two or three of these check rides. I know if you're a pilot watching, you'll know all of this stuff. I don't fly anymore. I flew a couple of times after I got my license, but I'm totally out of the loop now. But on my second or third check ride, I'm with the lead instructor. And this guy is just so smart. Like he's been flying for years. Obviously knows what he's doing. I'm a rookie. I'm a student trying to figure this out And so what he does is he does this verbal quiz with me and I pass all that like I can answer all the questions And he says, okay, Jason, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly from Denver up to Fort Collins We're gonna land take off from Fort Collins. We're probably gonna head up to Greeley and then back down to Denver I'm like, okay, great. And he tells me that I need to Map that out, file a flight plan, do all the things you need to do to fly from one place to another and all of that. Okay, all that's fine. I get all of that. Then we get in the plane. Before we take off, I dial in all of the settings. And at the time, we could not use GPS to get us from point A to point B. It was like cheating. So we couldn't use GPS. So use this thing called, I believe, a VOR, which literally is like a magnetic direction. So you set this little knob like exactly from where I'm at to the Fort Collins airport was this particular exact degree something like that okay don't worry about those details but I said it we take off flying I get the airplane lined up in that particular heading headed on that VOR and we get up to Fort Collins I recognize the ground I see Fort Collins I can't find the airport I can't find it crap and now I'm nervous this is a check ride this is a big deal and I can't find the airport and he just nonchalantly says hey where's the airport and I'm like I don't know I don't know where the airport is and he's like okay so here's what happened when you were dialing in your trajectory or dialing in that VOR setting you were one degree off and I was like ah he's like you have to be dead on precise on that heading or over a hundred mile trip or an 80 mile trip you're gonna be five ten miles off course he's like the airport is way over there and you're not anywhere close to it okay lesson learned I still passed it was a lesson learned it's it's something that's really common is to not be absolutely precise there and I was actually thinking about that with regards to nutrition and so let's think about this. If we want to hit a particular goal in three months, let's say we want to lose 10 pounds or we want to gain five pounds of muscle or lose 20 pounds, whatever it is. We have this destination three, six months out there. In order to hit that specific goal, we have to be precise right now about what we're taking in. Macronutrients, proteins, carbs, fats, total caloric intake has to be absolutely precise or we're not going to hit our destination. So here's an experience that I had. I track my macros often. Now I don't do it every day now. I've become pretty intuitive about my eating. But what I do now, after having tracked for months and months precisely, now about every two or three months I do a quick audit. I'll track my total caloric intake and my macros on just two or three regular eating days in a row just to make sure I am on target with what I need now. And so here's what happened to me about a year and a few months ago. It was May of 2020 and I hadn't tracked my macros much. It was in the middle of COVID. I was still training in my garage, all those things. Nothing had really changed except that I put on my weight belt one day in the garage and I, <laughs> I normally put it on the second buckle. And the second buckle was super tight. I could not get that second button done. And I was like, huh. Well, this rogue leather belt that's like three inches thick, yeah, it must have shrunk. <laughs> no, I, I grew. And so I did an audit of what I was eating for a couple of days. And it turns out that I was about 20 to 25 grams of fat over what I needed in a given day. Now, 20 to 25 grams of fat, it's not that much. If we think a gram of fat has nine calories, we're talking like 180, maybe 220, 250 calories a day. And a guy that trains as much as I do, like that shouldn't even matter, right? So let's just say 200 calories a day, every day for seven days, that's 1400 calories. 
Two weeks, that's 2,800 calories. Four weeks, that's 5,400 calories. Ooh, that's a lot of calories. And that adds up. And it's just the same as when I dial in the VOR on a little airplane and I'm 100 miles away from my destination, I'm one degree off, even a half of a degree off, I'm gonna be miles off from my destination. So do we need to be accurate with regards to our macronutrients if we have a goal in mind? Heck yes we do. And when I was eating an extra 200 calories a day, give or take, I got thicker. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So I made an adjustment. And just so you know, the adjustment that I made, just took a look at what I was eating in a given day. And I didn't want to give this up. I didn't want to change that. I still like butter in my coffee, whatever, all these things I didn't want to change. But I did realize that I was eating six eggs every morning for breakfast. But if I take out four of those egg yolks, I just about cover the fat that I need to reduce in my daily intake with a minimal impact on my life. I mean, literally, if I've got four, five, six egg yolks or two egg yolks, it doesn't matter. They're scrambled eggs. I put hot sauce on, on them anyway, so it's just fine. So I went from six full eggs in my breakfast to two full eggs and four egg yolks or the equivalent of four egg yolks with the liquid, right? I made that adjustment and I knew that I wasn't just going to be this super trim human being within a day, but I knew that over weeks and weeks and months and months, I had cut 200 calories back in my diet every day, every week, every month, and then my body would adapt and adjust right back down. And it did. And it was just this minor, minor change. So using this airplane analogy, of if I want to get to the destination, I need to be precise, especially the further off I am from the destination. The closer I get, the more I can make bigger adjustments because it's right there, I can see it. But when I'm this far away from that destination, 100 miles away, three months away or six months away, I need precision right now. I need to dial that in, meticulously track my macronutrients, meticulously track my caloric intake, uh, among many, many other things. We're just talking about nutrition right here in order to get to that goal. So I hope that was helpful. It was something that came to mind this morning as an analogy. I'm probably going to use it for the rest of my life now. And I'll have to tell the whole story because I'm a storyteller. I filled you guys in on all the details. Yes, I flew planes for a little bit. That was kind of fun. And if you need help dialing in your nutrition or working on all of the things to help make your life richer, whether that's to lose weight or to be a better competitor, whatever that looks like, I'm happy to help. Just shoot me a message. We'll jump on a call and just get to know each other. No big deal. And if you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button, like this video, share it with all your family and friends and everyone you know so that we can help as many people as possible around here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.